Uh, Fabio, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the similarities with the hatchback version and then the changes that you had to make for this cabrio? Basically, the Fiat 500 convertible one and the H one, they share all the improvements and refinements that have been done on the Fiat 500, the American version, when the European Fiat 500 has been moved here for the North American market. So basically, all the changes have been done for homologation, or for safety, or for or to match the customer expectation are common on these two versions. Just to give you some examples, from a homologation point of view, uh, some changes that we did on the vehicles were uh, to make unique headlamps. The headlamps are different from the American market compared with the European one because we uh, well, uh, asked to move the high lamp from this position to this position. So actually, this headlamp has a low beam and high beam together differently from the European one. The fascia are different to uh, allow the different license plates to be uh, arranged on the front fascia and on the rear fascia. Also the wipers are different for homologation requirements. As well we did some body structure changes to be compliant with the federal, federal homologation requirements for safety. These are the major changes that are common between the H and Act also the convertible for the requirements. What is unique on the convertible? The convertible basically, as the design of the convertible, is inspired by the 59 convertible launched in Europe. And in common with that car has some minor things and also some important things. Some details that are common are, for example, the rounded shape here of, of the rear window, as well as this chrome molding. You can find as well the same characteristics on the old historical Cinquecento of the 59. What is also common, is very important, is basically the Designed to keep common between the convertible and the H back version, the body side panel, the C pillar, B pillar, and A pillar structure. In this way, we were able to not compromise at all the rear roomness, the interior roomness of the vehicle. So, as you can see, uh, the interior roomness, especially the rear seats, are the same space, the same roomness as the H back. And so far, comparing the, this car with the key competitors, the leg room and the shoulder room are the most uh, are leading in terms of space uh, among the key competitors. Okay. So let me explain you which are the differences between the structure of the convertible and the structure of the h bar. Basically, because we don't have operate anymore the up beam, the cross transversal beam, we have added an important reinforcement, an important cross transversal beam below the parcel shelf. The parcel shelf is removable there, there is no beam in the hatchback, but on the convertible, C pillar to C pillar, there is an important beam that keeps not only the motor and the control unit of the, of the roof, but um, keeps also the structure more solid. Also, Another important enforcement that we have added is another important beam that is connects the underbody of the car with the body side panel and is below the rear seat and below the quarter trim and helps again to keep more better connected the underbody with the body side panel. Other improvements have been done in reinforcing the, the C pillar area with additional reinforcement and also the front header beam. All these things together has helped to keep under control the shaking of the car. And so far, comparing this car with the key competitors, we have 70% less shaking than the key competitors. And how much weight was added for the Cabrio version versus the hatchback with these changes? Well, keeping under control all and optimizing this changing from an engineering point of view, the total amount, the total delta is 53 pounds more than the hatchback. And this basically helps not 
lose anything about the pump drive, the handling of the car that remains good as the hatchback.